Ni hao guys, how are you? Well, today we will talk about the Tai Chi 2 or the symbol of the Tai Chi. The symbol of Tai Chi is that in the center of the, the screen. Uh, this symbol represents the integration, the harmonic integration between yin and yang. Yang representing the white color here. In represented by a black color, all right. Well, in the Chinese cosmology, uh, we have this fundamental principle uh, the yin and yang are the formers, the creators, the energies that create all the universe, all right. Um, in the Chinese cosmology, we have the principle that. Before the creation of the universe, existed what we call Uji, or emptiness of polarities, absent of polarities. Um, the Uji is like the period before the Big Bang, uh, uh, the great void or the great emptiness that inhabited the universe. So uh, when the Big Bang or the first uh, asymmetry began in the universe, uh, yin and yang were separated and it is contrast made all the universe. That's what we call Tai Chi. Tai Chi means the supreme pole where uh, irradiates the yin and yang it's like the top of the Chinese roofs that uh, divide in two sides. One side yang, another side yin. And there is supreme pole tai chi uh, make all the universe happen because all in the universe can be understandable as a mix of yin and yang in different doses, in different uh, proportions. Uh, so the sun, the stars, the the, brill the brilliant galaxies have more yang, or or in other in other in way to understand, they have more yang. As in different aspects. The black holes, for example, have a big amount of yin because they are black and receptive. Different from the sun, the stars and the sun and uh, some uh, structures visible that manifest light, for example, manifest heat, etc. So, uh, this difference between yin and yang uh, is what makes everything happen in the universe. So, in cosmology, that's the importance of yin and yang. Or, in other words, everything. <laughs> All we are are based in yin and yang. Okay? And um, this symbol represents uh, Tai Chi and the Tai Chi Chuan, the practice, the body practice, because uh, after this this knowledge goes to the monks, to Taoist monks, uh, they began to apply these principles in the body and in the movements, trying to imitate the universe. Uh, when the monks observe, observed uh, the sun rising, the sun in the top of the sky, the sun descending, and the sunset, and the night, and etc., returning the eternal cycle. Well, when the monks, the Taoist monks, perceive that, they begin to try to imitate this, uh, like connect, being connected in the same rhythm of the universe. Or, in other words, inhale, exhale, and feeling they are entering the lungs, leaving the lungs. And low movements, soft movements, natural movements, like the universe, like the nature. And 
That's the basis of the Tai Chi Chuan, right? The Chuan uh, can be translated as, uh, as wrists or uh, hands, boxing, etc. Movements, body movements. And the Tai Chi, this principle, being applied to the movements in, or in the body, all right? So, uh, this symbol Tai Chi to have white and black, have yang and yin. And this symbol is circular, it's not a square. Do you see that? Well, why is a circle? Because the circle represents the cycle, the continuous cycle without uh, extremes, because uh, a square have four extremes, four points. But here we don't have these extremes or these points. We have the continuous flow, like the universe is being continuous flowing, all right? And we, like nature, are keep flowing too, like water. And uh, we have this division between yin and yang in circular movements too. Uh, it, and this represents the the natural transition, the soft transition between yin and yang. The harmony lies down when we have this soft transition because if the... Imagine that the sun don't rise, the sun suddenly suddenly appears in the sky, in the middle of the sky, <laughs> suddenly, and wow, <laughs> shines and every, everyone got blind. <laughs> everyone... Uh, get burned <laughs> by this suddenly appeared sun. Uh, that's not a harmonic, all right? <laughs> yeah. Or in op opposite uh, perspective, the sun suddenly disappear. <laughs> that's very bad. That's very uh, disharmonic. So the harmony be, uh, lies uh, in the in the soft process of the sun rising. The sun growing, the sun ascending on the top, the sun decreasing, the sunset, the soft movements in the night coming, the transitions, the soft transitions are very important in Tai Chi. In Tai Chi Chuan, we try to imitate this with soft transitions in the movements. So this is the reason of the circularity of the symbol, uh, this proportion, this transition. Uh, the white appearing softly and going mainly, and the black appearing softly and occupying the system softly, and another time white and black. And, but it is a soft and a flow, uh, a, a tran tranquility, a flowing, all right? Not uh, suddenly appearing, <laughs> like I said about the sun. Or suddenly appearing, or suddenly disappearing. <laughs> All right. So that's it about circularity. Now about the points. You see that we have a black point in the white, inside the white, and a white point inside the black. Why that? What does this mean? Well, the black point inside the white represents that in everything that is more yang. You have a little amount of thing. In the, we don't have uh, in the universe, in the manifestation of the universe, extremes. Uh, always we have little amounts of the opposite polarity. Uh, we have we have things in the, in, the, in the universe that are very, very young, like stars, like uh, some huge stars. But even in these young uh, uh, objects, we have in. In the opposite side, we have uh, uh, things in the universe that uh, are very in, like black holes, for example. But even in these uh, objects, we have young. That's the principle. Uh, the doses, the proportion. Uh, we don't have 100 young or 100 in. Always we have mix, mix of these polarities, okay? And in the Tai Chi Chuan, it is important to, to
to perceive, to understand, because um, when we understand this, we can uh, put this in the movement. And this represents that we don't have to be extreme. We don't have to do extreme movements. Too young or too yin. We have to always have this moderation, this perception of limits. Okay, I will go to right, but I will not go too right because if I go too much to the right, I will fall. Okay, uh, I will have a problem with the balance. And if I go to the opposite side too much, the same problem. Then the doses, the proportion that you go to one side and you return to the other side and you always respect these limits. We always have limits in the body. Uh, if I put too much weight in some parts of my body, maybe I, ha I can have problems. Maybe if I go too... F Imagine that I'm going with my chest uh, to the front and I'm going, inclinating my body, then I go too much, too much that I lose my balance and I fall. That's a problem, all right? In Tai Chi, we must seek the balance, the harmony in the movements to avoid the falling, to avoid the, the, the loss of balance, the lose of balance, okay? Now, that's it. That's the principles of the symbol of Tai Chi too. Uh, if you have some questions, doubts, please ask me, uh, send me a message, and we will talk in about more. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you understand more about this, this symbol. And I'm sorry if you don't understand something, I'm Brazilian and I don't speak so well <laughs> the English, but I'm trying to improve myself every day, following the martial arts principles. Okay, thank you for your attention and uh, bye. See you next video. Xie xie.